I'm Jeff Nimnick. And I'm Rick Paulette. And we're the hosts of The Last Stand. Coyote hunting is my passion. And coyote calls are my livelihood. And together we aim to bring you the best predator hunting tips, tricks, and tactics right down to The Last Stand. The Last Stand, presented by Lucky Duck Predator Calls. We are the masters of deception. Swagger Bipods. Shoot with confidence. Shoot with swagger. Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. Hornady. Accurate. Deadly. Dependable. Pulsar. Image. Quality. Welcome back to The Last Stand. It's day two, Lane and I are still here in Nevada. Expectations are high still. This is this is great country. We're hoping for, for a bomber day. It's the first part of October. I think it's October 8th. You know, we're uh, early on here. We're set up on a big meadow, just trying to get some more openness to it. The coyote should be on the move. It's already like 65 degrees. It's gonna be up to about mid to high 70s again like it was yesterday that you saw in the last episode. So we're gonna probably be dealing with some lethargic coyotes potentially, but hopefully we'll get them right now. They're on the move, hopefully. Um, yeah, yesterday we kind of put a plan together as far as the coyotes being, you know, in that thick sage, still scattered out early. You know, early season coyote hunting, you know, has its ups and downs. You know, the pups sometimes are just starting to scatter out they're scattered out kind of in, I call it the summer range almost. You know, they're not really congregated down where they'll be later this winter, you know, around cattle and things like that. So we're gonna cover ground and blare the call and see what happens. Well, we're 0 for 2 on first stands of the trip. <laughs> That's all right. Great looking stand though. On to the next one. here so we can see down in it sun's blaring right on so any coyote should glow coming through this sage we should be able to catch their white chest or their face lane's kind of set up to my left in case something comes hard underneath he can shotgun it my plan is to stop him out here you know 60 80 yards in the sage and shoot him but almost dead calm winds just maybe a mile or two per hour i'm going to start off with like some baby cottontail demise and then pick it up after that a little bit, maybe finish some pups' stress. Come on. 
Well, that confirmed what, you know, so early season, sometimes you would think that all oh, these pups, coyotes are gonna run you over. I could tell you right there, that's now the second or third coyote we've called in that has no, is in no hurry to come to the prey distress sounds. I mean, that was, that was squeaky sounds, baby cottontails demise, scooby snack. Those coyotes should have been coming in to eat that. And this coyote was just on a, just this trot, like had no care, you know? So tactic wise for the rest of the day, I'm gonna assume that all the coyotes now that are gonna be like that way. So we'll probably, you know, stick to that prey distress a little bit longer than I normally do. Just knowing that they're just, just coming slow to it. It's gonna take them a lot longer. Hopefully though, the second half of the stand, we play some of that pup fighting and stuff. We can really piss one off and we get one, you know, yeah. maybe charging into that stuff. But I don't think we're going to see anything bombing into the call on rabbit or rodent or bird after, <clears throat> after seeing that now. But let's go over and see if I got, I think I got that one. I could see his head and neck kind of as he was kind of trotting. He kind of was going straight away. I could just, he didn't, he didn't go anywhere. just got him right in the, maybe I bugged his eyes out maybe, right? Right between the ears and his eyes. <laughs> we can hope. Ah. Yeah. Only shot ahead. <laughs> right between the old ears. Well, I think our plan is good. I think they're in the sagebrush yeah. for sure. I, the wind's swirling. I, it was supposed to be out of the south today. So we got to anticipate that at some point it's going to come back out of the south, but I don't know. Well, we can alternate sides. If it switches, we can switch. Yeah, yeah. Just keep the wind's going to push us where we're going to head. They're responding some. I think let's just go right up here just a little bit and see what kind of same kind of deal we just tried last time, but maybe they come from out here or down here this time. Well, the stage is set. We just, we just had some bad luck on the last stand. We had a coyote come in, not once again, was not coming in hard. It just came from a bad direction, kind of came in from behind us off the back shoulder. Really no other way to do the setup. We're just calling into this, this big, vast amount of sagebrush and it's just kind of a guess on where they're going to be. We're hoping either they're going to be straight south of us or back to the east. We have the wind blowing right out of the south, blowing down here into the opening, so. I was just getting ready to pull the plug. This whole guy would come diddy bopping over the hill. He got to right there about 80 yards and he just pegged us. Got a bullet in him up there. And I think Lane and I tag teamed him on the last one up there flopping around, so. <laughs> Go figure, right? We're half asleep sitting here with the yeah. sun on us, you know? Oh yeah. You know, the funny thing was, I, I was just down and I'm like, I'm like, I, I was looking and I was like, well, I'm gonna plumb, I'm gonna play like a minute of Scooby Snack, which is a rabbit right at the very end. So I looked down like this. I had just hit it, and I looked up, and Nick, Nick goes, and I looked up, and there he was. And I was during the already had pushed the button to swap, to stop the sound, you know, to switch it. And then he just, when they're just trotting like that, they pick you out so easy. Four of us sitting here, we don't have a whole. He saw us and focused on the call <laughs> and saw you guys spun. Nice job. <laughs>
job. Well, I was like, he ain't stopping. When they see you when they're 80 oh. yards, and he would he would have never stopped. There's no sense in even trying to bark there. It's just kind of get it out in front of him a little bit. And <laughs> I don't know what kind of footage we got. It <laughs> pretty fast, but tail on that thing is the size of a football. Oh, yeah, that's a big coyote. Damn. That is a big coyote, man. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. He was coming in to kick some ass. He didn't, that's why he wasn't in a huge hurry. Forty-one. Well, I feel re-energized. A good PB and J. Yeah. We're ready for the afternoon hunt now. We, we're still well. We haven't killed coyotes two stands in a row yet on the whole trip. We brought them, we in, brought them in. We brought them in. If we're due. They should have. We're due to get a streak going here. I'm glad we got a little cloud cover. It was starting to warm up, but now the clouds are hopefully. I'd, fresh. I, I was getting tired of getting burned up with the sun. Hopefully the coyotes want to stretch a little bit, want to move. Should be pretty good. This is, you know, this is a little bit, we're down from where we called in that last coyote probably three miles. The sage opens up a little bit. There's still some big sage, but a little more yellow grass mixed in there. We're hoping to get you guys a coyote that we get to see for more than about three seconds. <laughs> but, but they're in that thick sage and we just can't get them out in the open. We got to get in there with them and that's just part of the tactic sometimes so wind's good four five six miles an hour it's not blowing at all so slip up in here and rip it well don't be afraid to walk the call out there you know this stand we're making right now is not a shotgun stand we got a little openness there's little pockets of sage but you know more of this taller grass Lane and I, the, the positioning that we had just wasn't going to be good enough to get a shotgun coyote. So now I'm using the remote range, the e-call ability, getting the call you know, way out in front of us here, about 60, 70 yards. When these coyotes roll over, even though we're kind of exposed, you know, we're all four of us are kind of tucked in the sagebrush. Now the coyotes should be really focused on that. We should go get them right down in here. So <clears throat> wind's right in our face. I'm just going to let the call ring and see what happens. Seventy, pretty big paces. What a beautiful coyote! Beautiful. I'm guessing it's an old female. A lot of heavy dogs. No teeth. Her teeth are worn out. Top and bottom. Well, we actually killed coyotes on back-to-back -back stands now. Yeah. Footage hasn't been the greatest, unfortunately. We apologize for that. You know, but Sorry. hey, we're ki we're killing coyotes. Sometimes that's all you can do. This coyote, I don't know. It just, I don't know how fast how fast we got on the. It was not. It was quick. It was like one minute in, coyote was already leaving. Stopped one time. You were already on it. That internal range finder you were telling us about. It works. <laughs> Kentucky winded. Uh, anyway, just right. another big old coyote, man. Not much, not, the teeth are very worn. Yeah, down. old She's female cop. She's probably had six litters out here, so. Yeah? We appreciate her. Well, we need to find some of her kids, we you know? We will, we yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, well, two in a row. 
Good job running the call. We're everybody. still, hey, we're, we're not giving up. We're going to get hey. you guys one right down the chute. I'm still, you still haven't got your shotgun one right at the call. We, sure we still have goals. Like, it went like the good old days, we're going to bring them in. Heck yeah. Nothing, four in a row now. Just got out of the coyotes. Well, I think we're down to our last stand. <laughs> We've been grinding. We ought to change the name to this to the grind instead of the waterfowl being the grind. <laughs> we have not. We've given it hell today. We've made some great stands. We just... We're in coyotes in the jungle. They should be coming better. You know, we just made a blank stand, so we made like five blanks in a row since we killed that last coyote. But over here, it got dead calm. Just at the end of the stand, just a group of coyotes lit up back up into here. I, it's hard to tell, obviously, when it's dead calm how far they are, but we're going to get right here. It's There's a there's a creek right here. We're just going to sit on the bank and call up into there. There's at least, There was at least two, maybe three coyotes howling, so I'm going to get aggressive. Bring try to get some fights. Bring them in. Let's go. Let's finish this episode on a bang. Okay. All right. Well, the old coyotes are getting the last laugh at us right now. Here comes one right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, you know, today was one of those days where you know, we were in coyotes early, like, and we had a streak going, and our plan was working, you know, we, we had, you know, it's all about plans sometimes, right? You put yeah. together a plan, you execute it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Today, we were in them. You know, we didn't get the best footage, um, but we killed more coyotes on stand than we did yesterday that you guys saw in, that, in the previous episode. And you put pellets in another one that we didn't get on camera, so, I mean, yeah. you know, but... He, uh, he's dead. He's dead. He's out there dead for sure. You know, but uh, man, we just, you know, we made about six blank stands to end the day. We just made a decision to try to come up this new new valley. And, and uh, you know, we heard a few coyotes late in, the, late in the day here, way out there. But, you know, sometimes you just get out of them. And, yeah, nothing but, came really hard either. You know, yeah. it came slower later. And that's, you know, I think that's a, a byproduct of early season stuff. You know, the coyotes haven't been stressed yet. You know, we're seeing these Mormon crickets around. They're eating those. They're There's lots around. of stuff. They're not really stressed yet. The Heavy pups. coyotes, old coyotes. Yeah, yeah, today we did not kill a, uh, a young coyote. You know, yesterday we got a few, but but that is coyote hunting. You know, you got to put together a plan. Some days it's bomber. Some days you grind it out, you know. But it was, it was fun nonetheless. We got to see more of this area and explore some new spots. And tomorrow's our last day here in Nevada. We're going to go back. Uh, weather change for tomorrow. So, you know, it's going to be about 20 degrees colder, potential oh, rain. Beautiful. It's already rolling in right here. So we're going to game plan on the way back into town and uh, see we'll what... we have a vision. We that's follow. what we need. We need a coyote vision from you, Lane. You know, so... so but uh, appreciate you guys following us along today. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. It's the, the finale from Nevada. There you go. Let's do it.